OK, so for the next stage here, we're just going to go and have a look at how we might change some of the preferences around the headings here. So this is a chapter one heading. You don't have to have it selected, but now you can go to it, right click on it and we can have a look at it. So rather than changing anything here, you can pretty much ignore this font menu now. Everything is on your styles here. So we can go over, right click, the menu comes up, we can modify it. And so we can look at it and say, well, you know what? Actually, I want it to be black. I don't want it to be this blue. So I can just change it to black. You might think I don't want it to be Calibri light. Actually, I want an aerial heading here. I do want it 16 point. I do want it left aligned. And then you might also go to format and say, what paragraph spacing do we want here? So you can click on format, click on paragraph, and it'll come up and it'll say before it, you get 12 point space. And you might say, well, actually, you know, I don't want a 12 point space before it. I want a three point space before it. And I want a six point space afterwards. OK, and then you can say OK to that and OK, and it will modify that. And then we can go through and do similar things to the rest of them. So we could click on here. And it's usually better to select some item of the heading you want to then uh, change. We can right click. We can modify this. We can again change the color. We can change the text type and we can go back into the formatting and look at the paragraph and say, OK, you know, it can have two point before and it can have three afterwards. OK, and this you can all change throughout all of the headings to get it how you want it to appear. And then we'll go to heading three. So easiest often to click on a heading three, right click on it, modify, change it. We want it to be black. We want it to be Arial. We can keep it at 12 point. We can look at the paragraph and say, fine, it can have two before and it can have two after. OK, and then OK. And this just places it in a particular way. So it's fairly straightforward to get to this stage and you can start to see what your document will look like. Now, we're going to look at page numbers and field codes, but there's a few other things to go through before we do that. And the first thing we're going to go through is the show hide feature. So you might not use this a lot, but it's incredibly valuable. So if you find this little musical looking symbol at the top here in the home menu and left click on it, it will tell you by these little squares where formatting has been applied. It will show you every time a return has been used, pressing the enter key. It will tell you where formatting is as well within the document. So one of the things we want to do is put a space in. When we click on this chapter two, we can't click before it, we can click afterwards here and it will come up there. We want this to start on a fresh page. We don't want this to be on the same page. So we're going to go to insert here and we're going to insert a page break. Now, the nice thing about having this little tool, this symbol here from the home menu, the show hide feature, is now we can see there's a page break in here. So you can start to see how the document works. And the other break you might use is a section break. Section break means that formatting can change through the document by different sections. But if you're lucky enough to be somewhere where they don't want you to break your numeration between Roman numerals and, uh, and, and regular numbers, then you can just use page breaks. So you can start from one at the start. There are a lot of tricks to, to use in it, but we're going to stick a page break in there. And we're going to just put some page breaks in using insert and page break, just to move our text over onto new pages so that our chapters aren't all grouped together. Okay, so we've probably got a few pages in here and you can see according to this, we've got six pages. So we've got our chapter heading now, but if you were using a large document, you might actually have an abstract, okay? And before that abstract, you probably will have a table of contents and you might have a table of figures. Okay, so a table of contents, table of figures, and you might also have a table of tables. So these are quite important things that you're going to want to have in the document. 
and they'll probably appear themselves each on a fresh page, but you also want them to be picked up in the table of contents. So you can go back to the home menu now, you can pick heading one, and then you can say, I want them not to be chapters. So the simplest thing to do is just to delete everything beforehand. So now they appear in the numeration stages with the right headings appropriately attached to them, but they don't have any numbers. And then again, you can look at them and say, well, actually, I want to put these on a fresh page because they're not all on the same page in the document. And then again, you might go before the settings here and just stick a page break in there. So now we've created these breaks, there's space, and it looks a little bit more like the type of document that you might have for a thesis or a dissertation. 